Stairs come in many different shapes and styles, and to help you find the right type for your home, I'm here today at Adam Stairworks. I'm hitting the road, searching for answers, and finding great design. It's a quest for beauty, function, and of course, inspiration. Whether you're making plans for your dream home or just dreaming about your future home, seeing the different types of staircases helps you find your favorite one. And to do that, I visited Doug Adams, owner and president of Adams Stairworks. Doug walked me through the different types of staircases, starting with the most basic staircase, the straight staircase. The name pretty much describes it. Straight staircases are straight and come in bent variations accurately described as L's and T's. Your L-shaped stairs that just go up to maybe a landing and then turn to the left or right. You have your T-shaped stairs that go up and then exit Either direction. left or right. Not all staircases are stuck with 90 degree angles. They can twist, turn, and curve in every imaginable way. The most familiar curved staircase is the spiral staircase. While most spirals aren't big enough to be a main staircase, they are great for side getaways. Most people, we're, we're building a lot of spirals in libraries. That's probably the number one place it's going. A two-story library and a state home, uh, executive home, and, and people want it to be that piece of furniture. You got your double helix next, which is like a spiral, but a larger diameter. It has an inside stringer. The double helix is the only type of spiral staircase that can be used as a main staircase in a home. But they are very large and, you know, they're a little bit more costly. So it would not be economical to use in a tight space like a library loft. If a spiral staircase isn't dramatic enough, a circular or elliptical staircase may live up to your dreams. You have a circle stair which is a, like a bridal type stair where you see it a long sweeping curve going up, you know, gone with the wind type yes. style stair. That's a circular stair. Uh, people mistake the spiral and the circular all the time, okay? You have an elliptical stair, which is similar to a circular stair, but it fits within an ellipse. Um, those are more popular in uh, city homes where they're very long and narrow. Okay, and the, and the ellipses are the most expensive stairs we sell. All right. Um, because the railing and the treads, everything is all different all throughout the stair. To give your staircase a floating grace, you may want to consider making it freestanding. Freestanding means you can walk under both stringers and you can totally walk under it. And we have a single open under, which means one side's attached to a wall and one side is open under. You'll find that in a lot of city homes where it's going up along an outside wall, but you can see down to the basement. Regardless of what style you dream in, you can get any type of staircase to match. And now, when you go searching for your dream staircase, you'll know what to ask for, whether it's a colonial circular, a contemporary spiral, or a Victorian L. Check out my website, askthedecorator.com, to discover more about this topic, read informative how-to articles, or watch other videos from my trip. You'll find a variety of helpful decorating advice when you stop by.